Now it is my great pleasure to introduce you to Mayor Ryan Palmer, who will officially open proceedings for our small business Big Impact Expo. Thank you very much, Beck. It's my absolute pleasure to be here this morning and to be able to celebrate Small Business Month uh, with businesses right across Port Stephens. We know that uh, small business is the backbone of our local economy and have uh, really driven us back to hopefully what is going to be a successful period going forward. We know there's some very challenging times ahead uh, for everyone across the country uh, and notwithstanding that we'll uh, be here in Port Stephens where we'll see those challenging times. Uh, but I think there's enough positive things happening right across our region uh, that we can all be very excited about the uh, period ahead. Now I'm just going to share a small presentation around some of the things that uh, hopefully can excite small business across Port Stephens uh, because we know there are a lot of things that we want to see happen across our region. We've been waiting for a long time for these things to come to fruition, uh, but hopefully over the uh, next few months, uh, coming years, uh, we'll see these come uh, to fruition, as I was saying. But it's wonderful to uh, be able to celebrate Small, Small Business Month through this Small Business Big Impact Expo uh, that is being uh, put on in collaboration between Council, between the uh, Port Stephens, uh, Business Port Stephens, Port Stephens Women in Business, Destination Port Stephens and Spark Cowork. And I think going forward, collaboration is going to be key for small business to be able to thrive uh, going into the future. We all would have seen over the... Uh, years, uh, Williamtown develop and we would have seen uh, Williamtown being able to be a, a thriving hub uh, for aviation. Uh, but we have over the last few years seen the development of the land around the airport, uh, uh, which is currently known as Astra Aero Lab. And that's being built off the back of the F-35 program, which is uh, a $1.4 trillion program globally. And we are lucky here in Port Stephens to be able to support uh, that F-35 program. What does that mean for small business here in Port Stephens? Well, hopefully that means a sustainable long-term future for business who are able to tap into the market here, but also with thousands of new jobs being activated around Williamtown with the recently announced uh, Williamtown Special Activation Precinct uh, that will be, mean a huge boost for our local economy. So with the land that's being developed there at the moment, and Port Stephens Council is a shareholder of that land, uh, we're seeing thousands of new jobs created there. But a much wider area, which is known as the Williamtown Special Activation Precinct, will see New South Wales government investment uh, out of this Snowy Hydro Fund, which is uh, has had $1.2 billion allocated two special activation precincts across the state, uh, which if we are one of only five, we will see hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in funds flow from the state government into this area to activate it. And that can only be good, th good for small business in Port Stephens, can only be good for the uh, youth coming through uh, to have a future right up in the backyard that they're growing up in. Uh, Port Stephens Investment Prospectus is an initiative that has grown from uh, a need to be able to tell the outside world, those outside Port Stephens and sometimes in uh, Port Stephens, what is happening across our area and why it is great to be able to do business in Port Stephens. Uh, this will be launched very soon. I know our economic development team here at Council have been working extremely hard. And I know with the groups that I spoke about earlier, uh, around being able to sell Port Stephens is a place that uh, people want to invest, people want to uh, spend some time and being able to uh, make it their home. And we've seen that more off the back of COVID as well as a place where people are transitioning to. We've seen, uh, we've seen over the last few years the Nelson Bay Public Domain Plan uh, come out of the ground. We've seen the planning with the community over the years. We're starting to see the work uh, happen in Nelson Bay at the moment. Uh, we've got smart parking which is going in which will fund the works uh, which we see in this picture here this is just a render of what is possible uh, in our town centre in Nelson Bay but we're also working on the Raymond Terrace public domain plan at the moment with our community as well so those two uh, programs and, and uh, public domain plans are an overnight uh, plan that will, will happen uh, quickly 
but it's something that we're planning for the future because we do want to make spaces where people want to spend time, where they want to visit, where they want to uh, hopefully spend their money uh, and make it more attractive for small business. Because we know if we have thriving CBDs, whether it be Nelson Bay, Raymond Terrace, Madawi, Shoal Bay, uh, Karua, we know we are going to be able to attract people. And I know for those of you who live in Port Stephens, and I, I know that would be most of you out there, Uh, we've seen such an influx uh, of people over recent times. Uh, when we bring those people here, we want to make sure they have the best time possible and come back and spend as much money as they can in our local economy, uh, in your small business, to make sure that uh, you're uh, putting on those locals and keeping that local economy going. Uh, and we're very proud of uh, being able to deliver uh, these plans. Nelson Bay is further progressed and uh, adopted by council, but Raymond Terrace about to go on a public exhibition, which is very exciting as well. We've got some smaller plans coming out, as I said uh, before, and we've seen that the success of the seven day makeover there as well. COVID-19, uh, we've all heard of that. And I'm sure it's all had an effect on each and every one of you in different ways. Uh, but very early on, it was the business community that alerted council uh, that something was happening here, something around the world wasn't going uh, right. When we weren't seeing that international visitation that we're so well known for it here in Port Stephens, we knew something needed to be done. Very early on uh, with the likes of the Business Chamber and Destination Port Stephens, uh, we worked on a response and committed $500,000 to, at the time, thinking we were going to be the best regional destination, supporting business, making sure that uh, we were going to have people here. As we know, that quickly shut down uh, and, and everything shut down basically at that time. We still have those funds there and we're rolling it out through a grants program that is available to those across the community uh, on a monthly, uh, quarterly and six monthly basis to activate our town uh, centres, to bring back our nighttime economy, uh, to support uh, collaboration just like Ben today, uh, bringing together groups uh, for the greater good across Port Stephens. Uh, we'll continue to uh, roll out our COVID-19 response and something that's been highlighted uh, recently with the influx of people uh, and restaurants sitting at 50 or 60% occupancy is that we need to be able to provide uh, opportunities for outdoor dining or new opportunities to feed people uh, in our LGA when they're visiting. Uh, and that's something that's come from the business community again. So we need to be swift and nimble enough to be able to react to the uh, challenges that arise and uh, if it was six months ago and you're telling me that uh, we were needing to find extra places for people to eat, I would have thought you maybe were a little bit uh, crazy, but uh, that's the world we're living in at the moment, that we've got uh, plenty of people coming here, but we want to make sure that we're taking absolute maximum uh, uh, investment out of that uh, in back into our economy, over this, particularly over the summer period. The federal budget you would have seen recently uh, some of the bigger ticket items that we probably like to have seen here in Port Stephens uh, didn't quite make the first cut. And those were the, the runway upgrade at Williamtown, where we see great benefit off the back of uh, particularly uh, international visitation from Asia. Uh, we're still very uh, much working on that uh, with our colleagues at the Newcastle Airport to be able to deliver that uh, very soon. We talk about shovel-ready uh, projects, and that's certainly one of the ones that we'll be looking forward to. Uh, uh, over the next six months to deliver uh, with the airport, with the RAF and with the federal government. So that the, the whole uh, runway isn't uh, shut down as yet. We're, we're certainly confident of that. And also the M1 uh, will continue to work with the federal government and RMS and state government to be able to deliver that one. But we did see some stimulus come from the federal government uh, that would fl flow through to local governments. So we'll be seeing some more projects off the back of that and some multi-million dollar projects. And we've also seen support for apprentices uh, and apprenticeships across our region. So if you're out there and you're looking to bring somebody on, uh, particularly the younger generation, they have uh, brought back uh, a whole range of stimulus around that. So that is an exciting uh, uh, piece of uh, federal budget stimulus that has come out over the last uh, uh, month or so. We're very much looking forward to the state budget. Uh, we're hoping for some uh, great announcements here in Port Stephens. We're looking at the major road infrastructure like Nelson Bay Road and uh, been working with the R RMS and state government on that there, a number of our town centre projects, sporting fields um, to support our local 
uh, economy and our local people as well, because that is extremely important, uh, particularly here at Council. Uh, but I'd like to congratulate uh, everyone involved uh, with this webinar for bringing this event together. Uh, now is the time that we all need to be sharing ideas, collaborating, working with each other, uh, because as we know, small business, as I said at the start, is the backbone of our local economy. It's the backbone of our local uh, industries. Uh, and anything that we can do at Port Stevens Council to support you, uh, please reach out. Um, but congratulations. Have a great day ahead. And I'll hand back to you, Beck. Thank you, Mayor Palmer, for your comments. That's a very supportive um, presentation. Um, I think we are buoyed certainly by a small business community. So we appreciate your time this morning and we hope to see you on the, um, on the floor, the, uh, the virtual floor a little bit later on.